currently I'm in Casamola in Sicily, so I'm doing a solo trip. I love doing solo trips. I feel very comfortable traveling and spending time by myself. The only real solo trip that I've been on was London. But in terms of traveling, it was very easily navigatable. If I needed to go to a grocery store, I know exactly where it would be. I have never been to Sicily before. I was in Paris originally for 11 days, and I went home back to the States for 7 days. I got a round trip out of Charles de Gaulle. I flew back in yesterday. I booked this Airbnb pretty last minute, and it's glorious. It's so pretty, and I think it's just the most charming place I've ever been, and you can tell there's stories here, you know, you can tell people have lived here, and I think that's such a wonderful place as a stranger in passing, alone especially, to come and be and to connect to all of it, you know. And finding ways in which life can be like it was when I was a kid again, something I've come across in these past few months is treating life like play. Like, every interaction that I have with people is play to me. Like, I get so much genuine joy and excitement from it. I love talking to people. I love reading, I love writing, I love exploring, I love seeing sitting in silence with myself and just watching the world go by. Like I could sit here on this bed for hours and listen to birds chirping. Like life is just play for me and I want to find more ways in which I'm able to live in that feeling. With the sun on my face, barefoot in the grass, like just having fun with life, you know? Not everything has to be so serious. Moving forward without judgment, without expectation, just being here, being young, living this because it's here. So that's what I'm planning on doing. I'm gonna go and get some coffee, enjoy a beautiful Casamola. It's supposed to be rainy today, but it's not sunny. Mother's on my side. Yeah. That's all. Right. That's what I'm saying. Show good. that I'm seeing it now and that's a really wonderful feeling. 
I went back to this one cafe to get a caprese and an espresso. This one guy who was native, knew everybody. Uh, they invited me over to the table. They were sitting with the owner and the daughter. I ended up spending the afternoon with them. We explored the city together. They had this beautiful dog <laughs> named Wine. I don't know, it was just so fun talking with them, getting to know them and hearing about their life. Maybe I'll never see them again, but I knew them for today and that was brilliant, that was enough. And then yesterday, I stumbled upon this paint shop with a bunch of portraits hanging up. The old man who painted all them with me and he spent about 15 minutes showing me his paintings and his favorite ones and telling me the stories behind them. It was all in Italian and I was speaking to him in my broken Italian but he understood. He knew I was trying. And at the end of it, he gave me this clay taromina. Like a, you put it on your wall and you can hang things from it. I hang her, I don't really know what it's called but it's beautiful. And I fell in love with this one church. You know, I'm not a very religious person, but I am a very spiritual person, if that makes sense. I feel energy in the way people feel colors when they look at red and they feel a sense of anger and yell and they see happiness. For me, I get energy so tangibly from people and from places. Being in that church, I walked in and I just got instant shivers down my spine. I don't really know what it was. And normally churches are places of solitude, but this church was right off of the square of a piazza. And so there's a lot of action, people talking, and you could hear it all, kids laughing. And you're sitting inside this church and in front of the altar where the crucifixion was there was a white wall paint with shipping so you could see through it and i just thought it was the most beautiful thing i've ever seen yeah i just feel very happy and very lucky and this is such a wonderful place for me to really have my first travel adventure solo just feeling very grateful that's it so Pronto. Sim. Triste sal não tem fim. Felicidade sim. Triste sal não tem fim. Ok. This is beautiful. I want to learn it. yesterday and on a Sunday night and it was a bit hectic. I feel weirdly more lonely here I think that I felt very centered and at peace in the countryside just being surrounded by nature but now that I'm here I always hear people talking there's a lot of action happening around me and I think 
think I'm just trying to find my place within that. I don't necessarily feel lonely. I enjoy my company, but I do feel alone. It's not necessarily a negative feeling. That's just, I think, the compromise you have with being in a city. You have anonymity and being one person standing in a crowd but also the inverse of that, of being that one person. So it's a rainy day and it's actually kind of unfortunate because it's gonna be rainy for the next like three days. So I'll have one day of sun before I leave and so I'll definitely go swimming then. Ci gioco io, ci gioco io di preoccupare. 